Greetings everyone, this is Tyler the Melon Dragon, and today we're going to be reading a adult fanfiction on adultfanfiction.org called Wario Likes It Dirty by Gold Force Sun. Also, if you are not a adult, please go onto TikTok and watch some of those cancerous videos that you people like. I don't know. I don't know what kids like these days, fucking Fortnite and Coco Melon, uh, fucking Shark Baby shit. I got no fucking clue. So, but without, without further ado, let's begin. Chapter 1. The Smell of His Cum It seemed like another normal day in the Mushroom Kingdom. It was a beautiful day as Princess Peach opened the curtains of her room as the sun stoned brightly inside. It was a week ago that Bowser died from old age and the rest of the Koopas were useless without a leader, so they all turned good. People like Mario now had no chance with Peach. She once loved him because he was fit and had a great bond, and then she used to save her all the time. Every time that he saved her, he would bring her back to her castle and they would have a wild night of sex. And since Bowser kidnapped Peach at the last once a week, sometimes more Peach and Mario had a lot of time in bed. But now Mario wasn't saying fit anymore and he was a couch potato, or mushroom, and would waste days in front of a TV set. At, at this rate, his great bod would soon be gone. Peach would always think back to the great sex she had with him, and they were in love. Or was it even love in the first place? The love they shared was based on him saving her life and getting hero sex out of it with Bowser gone. It would never happen. But also, Peach was glad that it had ended. They were having lots of unprotected sex, and it was a miracle that she didn't get pregnant because she didn't have a child with a man of no royal blood. It would have been all in the Mushroom Weekly magazines as the top story on the cover. It was a risky time with all the love they made, but now it was finally over. All I can do now... Oh wait, I think that's Peach. <laughs> Shit. All I could do now is be a real princess and not have the fear of being kidnapped anymore, she told herself. Meanwhile, in Warrior Land, he was looking after his castle, but something was missing. What can I be missing? I have money. I have drugs. I have alcohol. I have prostitutes. Warrior was saying to himself as he counted on his fingers. Wait. I need a princess to share my castle, or if her castle is better, so I can have move into her castle and steal the place for a million or a billion gold coins. Warrior ran to, or should I say, walked to the lacy issue of Mushroom Weekly magazine that was in his bathroom. As reading news, oh my fucking neck, Al. I'm reading this off my fucking phone, by the way. Fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, which- hold on, which bit am I up to? Shit. Oh, I fucked it up already. Uh, okay. He flipped through the pages knowing he had seen the picture inside. Then he found it. Then he found it a picture of Princess Peach. I'm going to fuck this princess bitch! Wait, wait I wanna say like- <clears throat> I'm gonna fuck this princess bitch! He said gladly. Wario took the nearest walk pipe to the Mushroom Kingdom. Once he got there, he walked over to Princess's castle and just walked in. The guards smiled to him and waved. It was so easy to get into the castle with Peach because now that Bowser was dead, there was no need to fear. That is, what they thought. But Peach would have had right to fear if she knew what was inside her room, waiting to jump onto her and fuck her <laughs> and fuck her tight pussy all night long. Wario got in her room with no problem and hid in her closet. He could, he could see everything in her room once he could see Peach enter, and it was just him and her. He would strike. At the time, Peach was on her throne and was dealing with, with a noise complaint from a few toads in Toad Town towards Mario Brothers' house. Not again, she said. We must stop. We must stop those out of control plumbers, princess, said Toadsworth. I know that Toadsworth. I know. Wait, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I know that Toadsworth, Peach told him. 
But after they, but after all that they did to me, it just doesn't feel right. You do understand that if Mario and Luigi never came, that your king right now would be Bowser. I would be his wife and would have countless Koopa kids. I know that this moment Bowser would be gone, but it wouldn't have been for... Well, <laughs> I can't fucking do this. But it would <laughs> have been over. Uh, Princess, I know all of that, but we have to do something. You're right. I will go talk to them tomorrow. It is late, so I'll go to bed now. Please, Toad, let me know if the noise continues tonight, Peach said. We will, Princess! I don't know what Toad sounds like, the Toads told her. Oh, fucking Instagram, fuck off. With that, Princess Peach went towards her room. She turned the doorknob, and Wario spotted her right away. Once she closed the door, she noticed a foul smell in her room right away. Even Koopa Kong didn't smell as bad as this smell. Then, from her closet, Wario jumped out. Hello, Princess Peach. I think my penis in your vagina will make good friends. Wario, uh, what are you doing in my room? How did you get in here? She asked. I walked into your room and I want to fuck you. He told her. You, you think you... Think you, you think that we're going to have sex? Then you're crazy, Peach said. But it was already too late. While she was talking, War oh, okay, this is taking a dark turn. Wario went over to her and grabbed her arm and threw her onto the bed. He got on top of her and ripped open her pink dress to show her pink bra. Oh, princess, I didn't know you had sexy underwear like this said Wario. Please, okay, this is fucked up. I'm not even gonna read that. Please, Wario, don't. Me? I'll give you whatever you want, Peach told him. Because, you see, if... Okay, wait, wait, that's the narrator, fuck. Because, you see, if Peach was, uh, blank, it would ruin her a clean image to all the royals of the Mushroom Kingdom. As for how she knew the smell of Kubakam, Let's just say Bowser would masturbate a lot. Oh, Christ. Fucking hell. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'm not going to rape you, Peach. First, you'll fall in love with me, and then we will have sex. It will be from your own free will, Warrior told her. That will never happen, said Princess Peach. Warrior took her bra off. Okay, okay, this is fucked up. Like, Warrior is literally forcing himself on the page. This is, like, rape. And it's what's funny is, like, he, he doesn't want it to be... Oh, Christ, I said the word. Fucking fuck me. I, I don't know how long I can continue reading this. This video is already going too long as it is. Oh, fuck. How does Brent Daniel do it? Um, He was the second man... Warrior took a bra off. He was the second man to see them. The only other one was Mario. Wario used his dirty hands and grabbed her pure breasts that were so clean. He moved her melons as if they belonged to him. Peach could feel the pain while, she, while he moved them. She couldn't take it anymore and the milk shot out of her breast. Peach, you dirty girl, said Wario. I couldn't hold it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. I can't read that, dude. Hold on. Mm. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Fucking hell. I couldn't hold it inside any locker, said Peach. Let me get you naked, baby, said Warrior. He took the rest of her dress off. I hope my neighbors can't hear this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he took the rest of her dress off as well as her underwear. He played with her pussy and took some of the milk and she shot at it with her fingers and shoved it to her. Drink up, he said. Peach used her tongue and licked my warrior's, oh, Christ, dirty fingers, and she drank her milk. Do you love me now? Ox warrior. Oh, yes, I do, screamed Princess Peach as she kissed warrior on the lips. His lips were clean on the hands, but then Peach didn't care. I'm not even trying anymore. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> what the 
fuck is this? <laughs> We're just gonna skip right to chapter two. I'm not reading this shit. Chapter two, the smell of her cum, fuck me. Peach was in her room, nude, and her face full of cum. Wario was with her, his clothes in a pile on the floor and where he stood. Peach was nice enough to give service to his fat cock, using her wonderful mouth to make a cum on her. She wanted more. You like my cum, baby? Wario asked her. I do, honey, said Princess Peach. She had fallen deeply in love with Wario, even if he did smell like the trash. Well, your face is covered so that it could keep you busy for a while, and there were some leftovers on my dick as well, he said. I'll clean your dick with my mouth in a few seconds. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> she looked at herself in the mirror. She used her finger to gather the cum on her face and then took it in her mouth and then ate it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna skip through all this shit. I swear all the time. Usually it was when I was in the- Okay, that's Peach. Fuck, goddammit. Now, Princess Peach, let me fuck you, said Warrior. Of course. My body belongs to you, Wario, said Peach. Peach lied down on her bed right where Wario was before she was eating. Ew. The place was still warm before, and she felt so comfortable there. Wario then came and emptied his dick into her vagina. Ah! Oh, I feel so good, said Peach. It, oh, God, no. Oh, yeah, I'm screaming! I mean, oh, yeah! I'm coming, bitch! Screamed Wario. He then shot his one cum into. Okay, then a bunch of shit happens, and then. Uh, the Koopa cum. Uh, Peach likes fat men. <laughs> Lick it clean, my princess! He told her. Peach took his hand and the royal tongue, and. Uh, this is where this is. Uh, I, how long does this fucking go for? Four fucking paragraphs? Are you fucking kidding? This is chapter four? Peach likes it rough? Are you, Jesus Christ. And now they're, they're, they're at Mario's house now. They're, they're at fucking Mario's house now. How long does this go for? This video is going for 12 fucking minutes now. Jesus Christ. Okay, now they've got Mario. Okay. Oh, Christ. Who is it? <laughs> fucking Mario. I'm going to marry Wario, Princess Peach said. Mario started to laugh. Oh, that's a funny Peach. Why would a hot chicken like you? Okay, I'm also I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try this other Mario voice. <clears throat> it's uh, it's funny Peach. Why would a hot chick like you have sex or kiss so many guys? Love it like that. Tell me for real. Who do you let Mario make it believable? I'm telling you the truth, Princess Peach said. Oh my god! I'm about to come! <laughs> oh, he didn't say that, but... If for some reason that it's in Paper Mario, I had fun in Bom Bombette and Lady Bao in Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Whore. I adore. I had fun with... Okay. Okay. What is this? You were fucking everyone else in the kingdom! Wait. You were fucking everybody else in the kingdom, said Peach. Well, at least you didn't have sex with the Goomba. <laughs> Mario, don't touch me. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna come, my princess, Peach. I'm about to come. I'm about to come. Oh, shit. And then uh, Wario and Princess Peach get married, and Wario's like, I do! And then Princess Peach, she's like, I do! And then they are now husband and wife. The good news was that even if Peach was supposed to marry someone of royal blood, or someone like Mario, who she forced to make love to every single fucking night, she would save her life because he was a hero. And she was able to marry Wario because he was the ruler of Wario Land. The end. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, interesting fan fiction. I'm going to fucking drink some Adderall. I don't know. Bye. Goodbye, assholes. And that's what I get for trying to get advice from a red-assed baboon.